All right, so we have one last example in the section on projections. At this point, we know projections, we know they exist, we proved the formula for them, we've done them algebraically, and we've done them um, graphically. At this point, I want an example to show you why we would care about projections. So here's the example, 1.3.3, find the coordinates of the point R in the following picture. All right, so in this picture, I'm given a line, and the line is being given by the two points that are on it. I have the coordinates of A and the coordinates of B. And I have a point P that doesn't appear to be on that line. And what I want to find, I want to find this point R right here. And there's a remark at the bottom of this page. The point R on the line is, um, is the point on the line L, which is closest to P. So we'll use constructions like this a lot in the next chapter that will be featuring lines and planes. All right, so let's see how I can use projection. As soon as you see that line being dropped that's perpendicular, I want to think of this as a red vector. And the direction that it's perpendicular to, that's going to be my direction. So here I'm going to use D here. So which vector am I splitting? Well, remember the vectors that you need to have at the start that you're given at the starts are V and D, and then you can compute the other ones. So I have D because I have A and B. That's why I had to take it all the way to B and I couldn't stop at R. And I need V. Well, I'm going to take I need to end up at the tip of the red vector here. So I'm going to take this to be V. And so my blue vector is going to be this one right here. All right. So let's look at this. V is a P. That's the, ve that's the vector I want to split. So AP, I'm going to take the coordinates of P minus the ones of A. So 1 minus, minus 2, 3 minus 3, 2 minus 2. Huh, 3, 0, 0. Ain't that nice? All right, so I have a nice vector V, 3, 0, 0. I want to find D now. D is AB. So it's... 6 minus minus 2, minus 1 minus 3, and 6 minus 2. So I get 8 minus 4, 4. All right, so I need the blue or the red. I don't need both. The blue is faster to, to get because it's the projection. So let's get the projection, let me call this, well, actually, we have a name for it already. So AR from the picture, we have that AR is the projection onto D of V. And so it will be V dot D length of D squared times d. So that won't take too long. v dot d, that's just 24. It's 3 times 8. And then I have 8 squared plus minus 4 squared plus 4 squared times d. So I'm getting 24 over 64 plus 16 plus 16. That's 96 times D, and so that's one-fourth, so one-fourth of D. And so I get 2 minus 1, 1. That's my vector AR. So now I want to find R. So we have A, we have AR, and we have, we want R. So I'm going to do the usual thing where I get from 0 to A0 to R, so OR is OA plus AR, 
And so OA A is minus 2, 3, 2, plus 2, minus 1, 1. That's 0, 2, 3. And so the coordinates of R are 0, 2, 3. All right, so using projections, we managed to find the point on the line L, which is closest to P. We'll be doing tons of these in chapter two.